So let's read a story for today about household chores. After lunch, Jessa spent 5 12 of an hour washing the dishes and 5 8 of an hour cleaning the kitchen. How long did she work in the kitchen? Now since this deals with still a fraction, how let's let's analyze how are we going to solve this problem? Before solving this problem, we need to follow the steps. First, again, we discussed this last time, we need to understand what is the problem. Next, what is asked in the problem and what are the given facts and the word clue and what operation will you use and then you solve and state it in a complete answer. You, did, you should not forget also that you need to follow the ESO form. You put the equation first, then you solve, then you put the complete answer. Now, what are the keywords for addition? When, when do we add? So here are some of the keywords for addition. If there is a word some, more than, together, in all, added, um, plus, or the total, or increase, and there are some other words used in addition. For subtraction, we, we can use um, take, or subtract, or what's the difference, or less, or take away, or minus, or remove, or spend, or less, and so many other words for subtraction. It can be decreased or um, subtracted by, and so on. Now, let us solve this problem of, of how long did you work in the kitchen. So first, we understand the, you need to understand the problem. What is the problem all about? So we need to know how long did you work in the kitchen? Now, what is our word clue? Because of the word long, how long did she work in the kitchen? Then we we can say that we are going to add the two fractions. First, in uh, washing the dishes, and then next is cleaning the kitchen. So, therefore, we are going to add the fraction. Now, don't forget that when adding fractions, you identify first if this is a similar fraction or the similar fraction as you can see 5 12 and 5 8 so it's dissimilar so if again if it's dissimilar you need to find the lcd so for the lcd of the two denominators 8 and 12 let's see that is 2 6 4 continue since they have the common factor 3 2 then you multiply and get like the lcm 2 times 2 4 times 3 12 times 2 is 24. Therefore, the new denominator now is 24. Then, you again, you cannot just write 5 here and then 5 here. You need to do the butterfly method. 24 divided by 12 is 2 times 5 is 10. 24 divided by 8 times, uh, it's 3 times 5, it's 15. So, we can now add since it's already similar. 10 plus 15, it's 25 over 24. So since this is an improper fraction, we need to regroup, need to make it to change it into a mixed number. How? By dividing 25 divided by 24, that's 1, 24, 1. And the whole number now is 1, it's the quotient. The fraction, the numerator is 1 for the remainder and then copy the denominator which is 24 therefore um, Jessa spent 1 and 24 hours of an hour in the kitchen so again for a shortcut instead of do it all the process in dividing shortcut way 25 divided 4 is 1 and 1 over 24 you can just simply 20, subtract 25 minus 24 that's 1 over 24 then write 1 over here because technically you are dividing now next let's have more examples in solving word problems this one it deals with addition or subtraction or both test is sent two packages by mail the first package weighed one and three four kilograms and the other is two and one four kilograms what is the total weight of the package the packages so in this given problem we need to add because the question is what is the total 
So, 1 and 3 fourth added to 2 and 1 fourth. It's similar fraction. Then, we can just simply add. 3 plus 1 is 4. Over 4, 1 plus 2 is 3. 4 over 4 is equals to 1. So, you need to regroup it and make it a whole number. 4 over 4, this is also considered as an improper fraction. So, 4 over 4 is 1. Add 3 plus 1, that is equals to 4. So, the total uh, weight of the packages is 4 kilograms. Next. Mrs. Miranda, a stall owner or at the Tutuban Center, sold 21 and 1 half meters from a rolling containing 50 meters of curtain materials. How many meters of the materials are still unsold? In this problem, we need to subtract y because the question is you have Mrs. Miranda has 50 meters and then she was able to, to sell 21 and 1 half meters. So, um, you subtract 50 minus 21 and 1 half. So, it's like subtracting um, from a whole number to a fraction. So, you need to regroup the 50 so that you can have a fraction to subtract the other fraction here in the subtrahend. So, this will become 49. And we use 2 over 2 so that we can subtract right away since they have the similar, uh, they have similar denominator. So, 21, 49 minus 21, that is 8, that is 28. And then, 2 minus 1 is 1 over 2. Therefore, the answer is 28 and 1 half. So, 28 and 1 half meters of curtain materials is, are still uh, left unsold. Next, Trina weighs 38 and 1 half kilograms while Kate weighs 41 and 3 fourth kilograms. How much heavier is Kate than Trina? In this problem, we need to subtract because we are comparing the, um, the weight of the two person. So to compare it, you subtract 41 and 3 fourth minus 38 and 1 half. So this is the similar fraction. You need to make it into a similar by getting the LCD. 4 and then 2. This is 2, 2, 1. Find the LCD that is 4. The new denominator now is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 3 is 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1 is 2. Then you write 41. This one is 38. So 38, 41 minus 38 is 3, and then 3 minus 2 is 1, and then copy the denominator. The answer is 3 and 1 4 kilograms is the answer. Next, Erwin is an ice cream vendor. One brighter day, he had 6 gallons of ice cream to sell. He sold 1 and 3 fifth gallons in the morning and 3 and 1 fifth gallons in the afternoon. How much ice cream was left? So in this given problem, problem, there are two operations that we're going to use. Because of the word left, how much ice cream was left? We need to subtract. But before, before subtracting, we need to add first um, the gallons that he sold in the morning and in the afternoon. So first, you add, you add the 1 and 3 fifth plus 3. 3 and 1 fifth that is equals to since it's a similar fraction you just simply add 4 and 4 fifths now if if Erwin had 6 gallons of ice cream how much is left so we have 6 minus 4 and 4 fifth this is a whole number so you need to regroup this will become 5 and then 5 and 5 5 because the the denominator of this is 5 for easier subtraction you use 5 over 5 it's still equal to 1 so 5 minus 4 is 1 5 minus 4 is 1 and then copy the denominator therefore um, 1 and 1 fifth gallons of ice cream is left